Hey folks, Eric at Redline Injectors again. Today we're going to talk about Optimax Air Seals and this little doohickey right here we fabricated. Optimax air injector. These Quicksilver, these are the OEM seals. These are the seals everybody uses. We bought them. We bought them from many places online, big places, small rep, small places, reputable places. Everybody uses these seals. These are our seals. You can tell just by the eyeball, there's a difference in size. Ours is the same size as the factory seal. So let's take a look what happens when you use the seals everybody else uses and the standard fitting tool. Got your injector, got your seal, you put this on, the seal's on, get this compression tool, and you compress the seal down. Get it over the lip, <clears throat> squeeze it. Okay, it's now being compressed. The seal is now compressed, but something happens with this tool. First of all, it's still very loose. You can see to your, with your eyeball. But the other thing is if you attempt to keep compressing it, you'll actually get this little pocket this little lip that develops right there that means when you try to insert it into the block it's going to get caught so we created this and we created these these are our seals got the old seal off here is our seal so the cross section of our seal is much thicker than the ones everybody uses it's it's the exact same as the factory seal so let's go ahead and get this on right off the bat this is just about as tight as the other seals were after being clamped so here is our compression tool the compression tool works very simply. It fits in the machinist's vise all the way down. The injector sits all the way down. There's no guessing. And once that's in, you turn the vise and clamp it. And in case anybody's afraid it's crushing the injector, it's not. It's still fairly easy to move. But what this is doing is precisely clamping it with CNC machined billet aluminum to the exact same dimension. It's actually slightly larger than what it's supposed to be after it's been in the combustion chamber. So let's pop it out and see. And there you have it, a seal that has little to no play. And of course, if that was the engine, it would go in and not snag. We'll do a close-up and compare two injectors with our seals and what everybody else uses. Okay, so here's a comparison. Two injectors with two seals. This is the seals that we used to buy in bulk right here. And this is ours. So just to the naked eye, you can see the difference in the thickness. So let's take a look at the fit. And by the way, this was compressed using this, the standard compression tool. So here's what we have. There's the bubble I was talking about that happens from being pinched in the tool. And you'll notice it's quite loose and there's a gap. 
Let's take a look at ours. Very little movement, no gap, no pinch. In any event, Optimax seals, proprietary to us, along with our proprietary compression tool.